Hi, welcome everyone to Petroleum Downstream Crash Course. Now, this is a video series for anyone who is interested to know a little more about the petroleum refinery in depth. Well, more in depth than what you will get on the web, excuse me, but not so in depth as to uh, be spending hours and hours and hours on this stuff. So, want to be want to make it simple for you guys just to get to know a little bit more about what petroleum refining or petroleum downstream is all about. Now, as we all know, oil is a very precious energy resource. We use it in our cars, we use it in our trains we, for diesel, and we use uh, kerosene, some of the oil products, for our jet fuel. And, it's, and though we want to be less reliant on oil, it's still going to be a while away. So while it's here, you might want to know how it's going to be processed. And if you do, you're in the right place. So what do we know about oil so far? The very basic stuff. Oil starts its journey to us underground. As we all know, crude oil comes from uh, oil reserves or oil deposits underground. And it has to be dug up from let's say the oil sands or shale oil or the North Sea for Brent crude or even uh, Saudi Arabia or Iran there are lots of places that uh, get crude oil and this crude oil before it comes to us it must travel on crude carriers crude carriers are just very large ships which carry crude oil yeah you might have seen some of these around again there are many many different types of crude carriers and before it comes to us, it has to be refined. It has to be processed, distilled, and you do lots of stuff to make the oil na less nasty so you can actually use it in your engines. Now downstream, downstream is the refining, refining section of oil. Now it, downstream is most synonymously used with refining. The midstream is most commonly associated with uh, the transport of oil from the well to the refinery and the upstream is talking about crude oil production. Crude oil production means you're mining out the oil from underground, you're putting it into the barrels or putting it into the crude carriers, something like that. Yeah. So what is downstream all about? The downstream industry is a business. A business is meant to make money, make people rich. Yeah. Yeah, businessman. This is a businessman, like the monop Monopoly guy. He's here to make money, as much money as possible. How is it supposed to make money? You wonder, right? Well, as we all know, we purchase a lot of petroleum products from the refinery. For example, gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel, as well as uh, solvents such as toluene, naphtha, even lighter fluid. Or, you know, the plastics we actually have, like this, polyethylene, plastic bags. So, polyethylene, it comes from uh, something called ethylene, which is C2H4. And the refinery can produce lots of chemicals that can be used to make ethylene and make the our plastic bags so let's say i have these groups of products and i have and i make a hundred dollars by selling these products how much actually goes into my crude oil how much goes into processing over here and how much am i left over with i'm not exactly i don't exactly own a refinery but we can actually make educated guesses about the cost breakdown of a refining process. So let's say your revenue, your revenue is $100. So some part of that will be crude oil. The rest is known as your gross profit. So revenue minus cost of goods 
or cost of material. That is gross profit. And some accounting there. It's very yeah. That's just definition. Cost of materials, some something like that, yeah. And next, you're going to have processing cost. Let me hatch it the other way. Processing. So you have to pay uh, people to work for you in the refinery, right? And then you have to pay the utilities, you have to pay for water, you got to pay for electricity, you got to pay for maintenance of the refinery. And all this is going to cost up money. It's going to cost you money and that is going to eat into your profits. So what you have left over is known as operating profit. So a refinery has to maximize this in order to make money. How much are we usually left over after all the cost has been subtracted from this hundred dollars? Well, uh, according to ExxonMobil's annual report, ExxonMobil's annual report, this is 2016, right? Um, the link will be in the description section, but this is just to get a rough guess of what profits you should minimally expect. They earned about US $4.2 billion in earnings. This is their downstream sector, so most of it is refining and stuff. And they used about, they spent about $21.8 billion dollars 21.8 billion dollars so that's all the costs in your industry right and how much is that going to be let's get the calculator out so 4.2 over 21.8 now these are in billions That will give you about 19.27%, right? So that's how much profit you're expected to make after all the costs, right? So you can guess 80% is 80 or less will be processing and crude oil because I don't know what other costs they have that are outside the refinery. And you've got to take into account transport costs and all that kind of stuff too. But I'm not too sure how exactly they calculate 19.27. Uh, but that's just a rough gauge. So what about the other 80, 80 something percent? Let's just gauge from an average barrel of crude. Let's say a barrel of crude oil. And... How much does it produce in terms of products? Uh, my estimate is about $125. $125.84. Yep. After you sell all these stuff, you get about this much. And per barrel, Today it was about 60, 60, 61. This is Brent. And West Texas is about 55. Something like that, yeah. So a, a barrel of crude would cost about 50 to $60 today. And last year, if you want to talk about 2016 prices, it cost about 45 to 55. One of these, yeah. It's just an average value. These are just two types of uh, crude. Uh, I can, I'm going to explain a little more in future videos, but here's just a, here's, these are just benchmark crude oil prices, right? So this will be like, hmm, let's say we have about $50. That's a crude oil price, right? 
how much is going to be left over? So 125, 125, 84 minus 50. So that's about 75. And this is... This is about 59%. Yeah. 59.5%. Now, how much is the crude over the products? As a percentage of the products, percentage of cost of crude, percentage cost of crude over products. So that's this much. So 50 divided by 128.125. Point eight, eight four. That's about 39.7%. So you can roughly guess for every $100 of revenue you get from selling products, about 39.7% or 40% actually comes from crude oil. And you need at least a 20 to 25% profit margin. As for ExxonMobil. And the rest of the stuff, the rest of the stuff, right, that will be, depending on how well you manage, 25 plus 40. Yeah, you are left with about 35% here in processing. Depends on how well you manage. Of course, if you manage this better, you're going to have a better profit margin. If not, you're going to suffer a little more. But that's about how much money you have to work with for every barrel or every $100 of revenue from crude. So, hope you have understand a little better about... Hope you can understand a little better about uh, how the money is going and why crude oil is a viable business and what the refining business is here for. Alright, thank you. So I'm going to see you again for the next video. And one homework for you, one homework for you is to find out homework. How much money can you make Can you make by selling one barrel's worth of crude oil products? Now my estimate was 125.84. Alright, that was my estimate. Now I want you to go and come up with your own estimate with appropriate sources and post it in the comment section below and the answer will be in the description section all right thanks for watching once again see you in the next video